Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. As a nearly six foot two inch welterweight, Paul the Punisher Williams of South Carolina has spent the bulk of his career being seen as a dangerous freak of nature. That along with his high volume southpaw style has taken Williams to championship heights. Let's take a look at Paul Williams' greatest hits. May 2006, Williams and Walter Matisse met in a battle of unbeatens. Matisse came out punching and hit Williams with some clean blows, but Williams responded with relentless pressure, eventually wearing Matisse down. Williams sizing up Matisse, comes through with a big left hand. In round 10, the nonstop Williams attacks to the head and body were too much for Matisse to handle. Matisse now stumbles back in the corner, not throwing any punches, and Jack Reese says, that's enough. A welterweight star is born. That is a star-making performance by Paul Williams. Just three months later, Williams was back at it, this time against ring veteran Sean Bay Mitchell. Williams was slow to get started, and Mitchell made him pay. Sean Bay Mitchell catches Paul Williams upstairs with a four-punch combination to the head. But once Williams began to use his six-inch height advantage and superior punching power, it was lights out for Mitchell. Paul Williams lands a three-punch combination, and Mitchell goes down for the second time in the fight. Big right hand that, right that hook landed flush to the jaw. He's excited to watch, no doubt. Paul Williams knocks down Sean Bay Mitchell for the fourth time in the fight. Three months later, Williams faced Santos Pacao, a replacement opponent brought in on less than 24 hours' notice. Pacao was totally outclassed, and Williams put on the predictable boxing clinic. Fast hands by Williams. Yeah. Another shockingly short left hand. Catches Pacquiao with a great right hook. Catches Pacquiao with a straight left oh, hand. I don't think this is going to go on no. too much longer. The overmatched Pacquiao showed tremendous guts, taking a brutal beating until the fight was finally stopped. Pacquiao's taking way too much punishment now. Now, this is simply unnecessary damage. Is there any reason for this to be happening? And finally, we get a stoppage after Santos Pacquiao is hammered for six rounds. July 2007, Williams finally got his shot at welterweight title holder Antonio Margarito. Williams began with furious intent, throwing over 100 punches in each of the first four rounds. And there's a straight left hand that lands for Williams, and a sweeping left hand that lands for Williams. Now he snaps Margarito's head back with a straight left hand. Williams dominated the first six rounds. So behind on the scorecards, Margarito needed to pick up the pace, and he did. Crushing right hand inside, landed to the jaw by Margarito, starting to land with more effect. Big left uppercut by Antonio Margarito. Antonio Margarito has started to make his point, but is it too late? Both fighters were trying desperately to prove their point in the final rounds. They're fighting in a bow booth in Carson standing toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. Despite Margarito's late surge, Williams closed the show just as it had begun with a flurry of activity. What a performance by young Paul Williams. Williams took the unanimous decision victory and had the biggest win of his career. February 2008, the undefeated Williams took on challenger Carlos Quintana. At a severe height disadvantage, Quintana used his quickness to slip Williams' punches and continuously landed some clean blows on the champion. The story of this fight is basically Carlos Quintana punches Paul Williams in the face. In the middle rounds, Williams began to find his mark. Now Quintana shoots a left hand. Williams comes back with a right. Good jab by Williams. Terrific action. But Quintana got a second win and once again landed at will down the stretch. Quintana cruised to the surprising unanimous decision victory, handing Paul Williams the first loss of his career. November 2008, following two straight first round TKO victories, including a rematch against Quintana, Williams took on 39-year-old Verno Phillips. An accidental clash of heads in round one opened a bad cut over the right eye of Williams. Fighting with a sense of urgency, Williams dominated the action. And there's another good body shot by Williams. Chops a left hand to the ear of Phillips. Another thundering right hand to the body by Williams. Those body shots are really taking their toll on Verno Phillips. 
After a sustained beating for eight rounds, the fight was stopped, giving Williams his third straight technical knockout victory. April 2009, Williams met 37-year-old Winky Wright in a matchup of two of the sport's most avoided fighters. From the beginning, Williams overwhelmed Wright with a flurry of activity. Now here we go. Is Wright going to stay with this? When is he going to retaliate? There's a welt under the right eye of Winky Wright. And Williams has seen that welt and is already trying to target it. Coming off a 21-month layoff, Wright had no answers for the speed, quickness, and non-stop attack of Paul Williams. Hard right hand by Williams. That right hook, one of his best punches of the fight. He knows it. He's trying to follow up right now. Oh, good right hook by Williams. And increasingly, Winky Wright is taking more punishment than a 37-year-old who's been out of the ring for nearly two years wanted to take. Williams threw over 1,000 punches more than doubling Wright's total, and he rolled to the unanimous decision victory. December 2009, after a matchup with Kelly Pavlik fell apart, Williams turned his attention to super slick southpaw Sergio Martinez. Round one was a classic and a sign of things to come. And down he goes on a left hand to the temple, and that's shocking, but it looked as though it was a combination of bad balance and the punch landing. Hard right hand. Williams goes down, and Martinez has evened the round. Brilliant. Williams was leaving himself open, and the speed of Martinez was a critical factor. He is opening himself up to these right hooks, and Martinez is having a festival right now. Another big right hook by Martinez. Williams is a sitting duck for Martinez's right hook. Although he was eating left, Williams kept coming forward and put constant pressure on the smaller fight. Hard right hook by Williams. That's Williams' best punch since the first round. In what was instantly seen as a classic fight, neither fighter deviated from his game plan. The action was at a fever pitch throughout. Another right hook inside by Martinez. And a left hand shot by Martinez, and a big left by Williams. And now Martinez fires three more right hooks and clocks Williams with a left. And Williams fires back, and they're trading shots. What a savage exchange in the middle of the ring. Amazing. There's another right hook, and another left hand, and another right hook, and another left hand, and another two right hooks, and another left hand. In the 11th round of a war, these two are throwing punches like that in the middle of the ring. After 12 pulsating rounds, Williams escaped with the majority decision victory. To see more of Paul the Punisher Williams, log on to HBO.com.